Good morning and welcome to Oblate Morning Prayer from St Mary's Star of the Sea, Leith, Edinburgh. We'll begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. And we'll address God our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We gather today, the fourth Sunday of the church's year. As we move from Christmas season to what is known as ordinary times in the church's calendar, difficult times due to the pandemic and other circumstances. Let us remember, God is with us. He walks beside us each day, ready to listen to us whenever we call and put our trust in him. I would like to share this message I came across. It is called, Be at Peace. Do not look forward to what might happen tomorrow. The same everlasting Father who cares for you today will take care of you tomorrow and every day. Either he will shield you from suffering or he will give you unfailing strength to bear it. Be at peace then and put aside all anxious thoughts and imaginings. And today's Gospel comes from St Luke, chapter 4, verses 21 to 30. Jesus began to speak to them in the synagogue. This text is being fulfilled today, even as you listen. And he won the approval of all, and they were astonished by the gracious words that came from his lips. They said, This is Joseph's son, surely. But he replied, No doubt you will quote me the saying, Phoenician, ph Physician, heal yourself, and tell me, We have heard all that happened in Capernaum. Do the same here in your own countryside. And he went on, I tell you solemnly, no prophet is ever accepted in his own country. There were many widows in Israel, I can assure you, in Elijah's day, when heaven remained shut for three years and six months, and a great famine raged through the land. But Elijah was not sent to any one of these. He was sent to a widow at Zarephath, a Sidonian town. And in the prophet Elisha's time, there were many lepers in Israel, but none of these was cured, except the Syrian Naaman. When they heard this, everyone in the synagogue was enraged. They sprang to their feet and hustled him out of the town, and they took him up to the brow of the hill their town was built on, intending to throw him down the cliff, but he slipped away through the crowd and walked away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In this reading, we are told the people who heard Jesus preach in the synagogue were amazed. Yet Jesus was seen by others in his village as stepping beyond family boundaries. For in the Mediterranean world, it was customary for a son to carry on his father's trade and grandfather's name. The people of Nazareth, Jesus' home, must have known him and his family well. On one hand, they were astonished at his eloquence when preaching in the synagogue and with his power to heal. 
This caused them to exclaim in surprise, is this not Joseph's son? But on the other hand, they were displeased that he was not carrying on the work of Joseph as a carpenter. Secondly, in Jesus' time, no one knew about germs and viruses, and human beings, as a rule, had no remedies for curing illnesses. When someone like Jesus had the power to heal and restore people to good health, nearly everyone was happy. However, for some, Jesus was seen to have broken rules. For example, healing people elsewhere, as he did in Capernaum rather than in his hometown. He was seen to have helped to heal not only Judeans, but Gentiles who were not Jews. And this many resented. Yet Jesus saw the need to spread the good news by also serving those out with his hometown. And in the same way today, we have many missionaries spreading God's message throughout the world, often working far from their own homeland. We are indebted to these men and women and thank God for them. They, like the first apostles, have accepted unselfishly Christ's call when he said, follow me. And so we pray, Heavenly Father, we are all called to follow you in whatever way is appropriate for us. Give us the grace to use the different opportunities for service which may arise each day. Help us to accept the different opinions of others and not be critical or judgmental. May we have the courage not to be insular, but to move out of our comfort zone to give help where it is most needed. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us, and have a blessed and enjoyable day.